If you care about your productivity, this is probably going to blow your mind like it did mine. So guess how many meetings you have over the course of a year? 50, 100, how about 1,000? 1,000 meetings over the course of a year. So the busiest people, for example, are the software engineer managers. They spend 17.5 hours inside meetings every single week, followed by recruiters with 15 hours, and surprisingly, salespeople only spend 10.8 hours a week inside meetings. So like it or not, about 30% of your productive work time is going to be dedicated to meetings. So you might as well optimize them and get the most out of them. And this is exactly the reason why in today's video, we're covering 11 automations that are going to save you tons of time and headache. You can find links to all of those automations in the description of this video. They usually take about a minute to two minutes to set up. And let's dive into our very first one. All of the automations you're going to see today are made possible by a Chrome extension called Bardeen.ai. It's a workflow automation tool. I already have it installed over here. And the first automation here in the out of box section is called get a browser notification before a meeting event. Here I have a meeting coming up in one minute. And if I open my notifications, there we have the meeting. I can click on it. There it is. Notifications can be fantastic, but there is still a problem. What if you have a do not disturb mode on? It can be on your phone or on your computer. You'll probably miss that meeting or show up late. There is a way to make it impossible to miss meetings. The next automation is going to join a meeting automatically and super easy to set up. Let's click on Bardeen and in the auto box section, we're going to have the automation is called join the next meeting one minute before it starts. Okay, just like this, we've turned it on. Hi. And just like this, a new tab opened and a meeting was launched. This works with different meeting platforms such as Google Meet, Zoom, WebEx, you name it. And now imagine you're out and about, you're somewhere running around the city and you're not in front of your computer, which makes it not impossible to miss a meeting. For that, we have automation number three that's going to send you a meeting reminder as a text message with the link to join just five minutes before it is to start. Let's try it out. So when you are on your computer, like you are right now, you can open Redeem. And then here we have an automation that's called send an SMS reminder for the upcoming meeting. You can put in your phone number. Here I have mine. So there we have it. Uh, let's activate this automation and let's take this phone for a ride and let's see what happens. And there we have it. Here is our notification with a meeting reminder. Okay, so you have joined the meeting, you did it on time and you had three automations to make that possible. Just pick one. But what about everybody else, the people who have not seen this video yet? The odds are somebody is going to show up late. And here is the automation that I literally use the most. It's going to send an email reminder to all meeting participants with a link. Here's all you need to do. Let's click on Pardeen over here. And here we have the playbook section. So the auto books are the ones that run automatically. The playbooks are the ones that you click in order to run. So here we have the automations and email to current event participants about you waiting in the meeting room. And there it is, an email was sent. You can click on view to see the email. And here's how it looks like. So it automatically pulled all of the meeting participants. It found the meeting link and that's all it takes. Option B shortcut and clicking on that card. Great automation, but how do you make sure that you do not end up in this type of situation when people show up late in the first place? Well, you can send people meeting reminders ahead of time. And hence the next automation is going to send the same email just five minutes before automatically. So five minutes before you have a meeting, you're going to see that email sent through. So all you need to do is just toggle this automation on and here is how it's going to look like. And now is perfectly the perfect moment for me to explain how Berdeen works. So here we have an automation that we've just enabled, but we might want to customize it. Maybe we want to send meeting reminders a little bit ahead of time, maybe a day ahead of time or an hour ahead of time. So you can open this automation in the builder. In the builder, you see different types of actions. 
So the first action here is when the next meeting starts in a certain period of time. This is called a trigger, and then you have different actions. For example, we have find meeting link. Then we're creating the body of the email by combining a message and the meeting link. Here, we're going to find the email addresses of event participants and send out that email. Sounds pretty easy, but still there are a few actions to make this possible. So we're going to customize that trigger action. Instead of five minutes, I'm going to say one hour, just like this. Okay, let's hit done and done again. And we're also going to enable this automation so that it runs. And I'm going to go ahead and create a new meeting that's going to be in one hour from now. Now we have a meeting in one hour and one minute. You can open Verdeem and here is another quick trick. You can show activity of that specific automation. When you click on it, it's going to show you all of the times when it ran. And there it is. Let's see the data that was returned. So here is our meeting and we can go to our Gmail to see that specific email that was sent. And there it is, reminder about the upcoming meeting. That easy. By now, everybody is in your meeting room and hopefully on time. But what do you talk about during that meeting and how do you make sure you get the most out of the time you have together? Personally, I love taking meeting notes. I log action items and before even the meeting is to start, I create some sort of a loose agenda. Hence, automation number six is going to create a new Google document for the upcoming event. Let's click on the try it button. We're going to integrate Google Docs because I don't have it installed yet. Click continue. And here you get to pick the event for which to create a new Google document. Let's do it for our upcoming meeting. It's called next meeting and let's run this. A new Google Doc was created. It opened automatically. You can start filling it out. And if you go back to our calendar, here is where the real magic happened. Every participant of that meeting is going to be able to access the document because it was automatically added over here to the description of your event. But wait, wait, wait. I like Google Documents. I'm a big Notion geek. And if you are as well, here comes automation number seven. It's going to create a new Notion page in your calendar database. Let's set that one up. Looks like it's called calendar right there. And I can launch Bardeen this time with a shortcut option B. And let's go to the builder really quick and find that action. Create Notion page. We're going to pick the database. It's called calendar. Okay. And then from here, we're going to map the data that's coming from the event, and it's going to be mapped directly to the Notion action. So all you're doing here is, for example, there's the name of the event, and you can grab that name from uh, that trigger action. It's called summary. We can also add the meeting link if we want to. So we have a uh, join meeting link, and let's add the date over here. Start date. Hit done, hit done again, and enable this automation. It's going to be triggered one minute before the event is to start. So the automation is enabled. You can just get distracted again, check your phone, do whatever, browse the internet, and watch what happens. All right, there it is. We have a new Notion page created. Here's the meeting link, the date of the event. And I can just click on the template that I have pre-built, and it already has all of my information. For example, I have my objective of the meeting, agenda. I can even log action items. Uh, record a YouTube video. This is a dream come true for Notion geeks like me. I probably like you as well. Okay, I had an amazing call. Everybody showed up on time. I took meeting notes. We have action items. The call was so good that I want to share it with the rest of the team. How do I do this? Automation number eight is going to upload your Zoom cloud recordings to your Google Drive. So you can easily grab a link and share it with anybody. And plus, you don't have to pay $50 a month for Zoom cloud storage. Pretty good. 
And again, we're going to be using Bardeen, the workflow automation tool to make this possible. You'll have the link in the description of the video like before, but this time, instead of just showing you how to enable it and turn it on, I'm going to show you how I would create it from scratch. It's super simple. So there are just two actions. The first one is a trigger action. It's the trigger action with Zoom, and it says when a Zoom cloud recording becomes available. That's our trigger. Let's hit done. And then we're going to add another action. And the other action is with Google Drive. We're going to find the action upload file to Google Drive, then reference that trigger entire value, and then pick the folder into which we want to upload the file. I have one called Zoom Recordings. That's the one. You can automatically share it with meeting participants if you want. In my case, I don't. I'm going to hit done, hit done again, and call it upload Zoom recordings to drive. Hit save. And activate this automation. You can build automations like this one with a few clicks. And now if we look at my folder, here I have my meeting recordings. Here is one from just an hour ago. And it's that easy. You have all of the data right there. Now we have probably automated around 90% of very manual workflows, but there's some other things that can make your meetings way better, especially if you're in sales or do a lot of external meetings. We can do research on meeting participants with a very simple shortcut. Let's try it out. Option B shortcut, and let's go to the Playbooks tab. And the automation is called Get Social Profiles of All Meeting Participants. Click on that card, and then we can pick an event. For example, I can grab my next meeting over here, and I'm going to save this automation and run this. And just like this, you can see all of the information about everybody who is joining your meeting. For example, we have the person in Richmond. Here we have the LinkedIn profile link. We have a Twitter profile link. And the same thing for the company. So let's click on Twitter. Looks like me. Then we have my Twitter profile and there is the company Twitter profile page. Let's do option B shortcut. Look at the activities really quick. Find that automation. Uh, look at the company one more time and see what else we can take a look at. All right, there we have a uh, company one more time. Let's click on LinkedIn. Here's the company LinkedIn profile. Super powerful if you ask me, but social media is not the only place where you get context about the meeting. Say you had tons of communication way back and you have no idea how that person ended up on your calendar. There's an automation for that. Let's do option B shortcut to open Berdeen and we can find all email threads with participants of an event. Let's do the next event and get a little bit of context behind what we talked about. And here, as you can see, we're searching for all of the emails that we received from the participants of that meeting that we chose. And there we have a few. You can just go through them to get the freshest content. Finally, here comes automation number 11, also one of my favorites and the most underrated. So imagine you want to understand the meetings you've had throughout the month, throughout the week, or you need to do any type of meeting reporting. This automation is going to create a list of all meetings you had in the time period. Let's run it. I'm going to open Bardeen with a click. And here we have it. Copy a list of meetings during a time frame. Let's say uh, one year ago. So this is the start date. And then the second variable we need to specify is the end of that date range. It's going to be, let's do uh, in one month. So all meetings in that 13 months period are going to be in that spreadsheet. And finally, we get to specify the spreadsheet to add the information to. You can pick an existing one or you can create a new one. And let's call this a meeting report. Hit enter, hit enter again. And just like this, we have the spreadsheet and there it is. So here are all our meetings in that time frame. That was pretty easy, zero copy pasting, one of the coolest automations ever. And this is it. You can find the links to the 11 automations that we've explored in this video in the description below. Enjoy your newfound productivity and until next time, cheers.